Hey everyone, it's Brittany from The Budget Simple and I am back today with the uh, June 3rd paycheck stuffing video. If you haven't been caught up on all of my June stuffings, I do have a playlist on my channel of everything in June so you can go and check those out to see where we started off um, in the beginning of the month. If you like seeing these kinds of videos, make sure you subscribe to my channel and give me a like down below. It really helps my channel out and I want to get to a thousand subscribers so I can monetize my channel and be able to do this a lot more and put out a lot more videos for you guys. So just take a second, uh, subscribe down below, and thank you so much if you do do that. Thank you so much. It really means a lot. And let's get started with this week's paycheck budget. So I'm using my June templates that I created. So this is what I have filled out for now. Let me erase this down here where I did whatever bills I needed. So this is my June template that I created. I like to change it up every month and I put them on my Etsy account. So if you like them, go check it out. And we're just gonna jump right into it. So we're gonna start with um, any cash or coins I had left over from last week. So let me see if we have any left. And drum roll. We have some cash left. So I have one, two, three dollars. And then I have a little bit of coins. That's it. So I'm gonna add my coins to my coin jar. And then I'm gonna put my cash in my cash jar, which is completely full of receipts. I need to scan all these receipts into Fetch Rewards so I can get all those points. I'm so excited to get all these gift cards on Fetch. Um, it's a really easy way to get free money. So if you guys wanna do the same, just download Fetch Rewards and use my code below and I'll put it on screen right here. So you can make sure you get 2000 extra bonus points when you sign up, that's two whole dollars. So. Um, do that so you can get yourself some free money. It's really cool. And then now on to our stuffings. So for groceries, I have $50 down, but I actually already took a 20 out of that because I had to buy some groceries. So I'm going to stuff $30. So I have 20, 30. I fold these up and I put them in my little card holder. So that's for groceries. Then eating out, I'm actually giving myself $20 this week. So same thing, just gonna fold it up, put it into my other little card wallet. And then student loans is gonna be a new one that I'm gonna actually start stuffing. So let's add this new envelope to my binder. So we're gonna add this guy in here. He's a little beat up, but that's okay. We do not judge on appearance. We're gonna put him right up front, right before cats him in there and we are gonna put $20 so I'm gonna stuff this every month and then or every week and then once a month I'm going to make an extra payment on my loans so I've got school let's fill out everything here I have 20 oops, 20 here I had $182 in bills so those are already in my checking account those are paid eating out 20 groceries i actually only have 30 in there because i've spent some so let's move on to all of our sinking funds so we're going to start next up with cats cats are going to get ten dollars cats we have 50 60 70 80 85 I'm about to spend this because I know I need to stock up on litter. So some of this, about $30 of this is about to be spent. The next we're going to my car. Car is just gonna get five bucks. Not a huge priority right now. So we are going to add this to 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, five, seventy dollars car has 70 bucks that's a lot just for general maintenance my car literally needs like one oil change a year which is like 30 bucks because my boyfriend do, does it so 70 bucks is a lot I might top out at a hundred travel I'm gonna give it five dollars so I've got travel now has 15 
Beauty is going to have $5 also. I'm going to add another five there. So we have five, ten, fifteen dollars in Beauty. Christmas is going to get 25. So we've got 25 here. I'm trying to really bulk this up. I was checking on my cash rewards on both of my credit cards yesterday, and I already have $100 between the two, so $100 total in cash back, and I always save that up and use that for Christmas every year. So I already basically have $100 saved for Christmas, and we're only halfway through the year, so probably by the time Christmas hits, I'll have about $200 in rewards, and then I'll have whatever I have saved here, and then I think I'm gonna use my Fetch Rewards gift cards also because those I'm probably gonna have like 50 bucks by then. So I'm gonna have a lot of money saved up for Christmas. That's not even actual like money money, it's just all rewards. I love doing it that way. So Christmas, we have 20, 40, 50, 55, $60 already. $60. Savings is getting 41. So it was just getting 20, but if y'all watched my coins video where I rolled up all of my coins, I had $21 worth of coins that I had to take to the bank to get cash for. I did that when I got this cash for this stuffing. So I have an extra $21 getting stuffed into savings. So that's $41 total. So we're gonna add that here. Let's see how much total we have. We have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 10, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43. So I have 143 in my savings envelope. That is awesome because I just started this envelope not too long ago. Did I say 143? Meh. I don't remember, but we're gonna go with it. 143 sounds good. So 143, and I'm so excited to do a bill switching video. This is gonna be a very satisfying to switch out all these ones. It won't even fit in this envelope, it's too fat. There we go. Let me know down below what you guys use your just general savings envelope for. Do you just hold on to it? Is it your mer your emergency savings? Do you have an idea in mind, like something you're saving up for? Like, what is it for? Because I don't really have a, a goal for this. I just wanted to have an extra like tucked away savings just in case. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that yet. And then last but certainly not least, I have my envelope. So I'm going to add $10 to it. And now I have $20, $35 for me. So $35. I think I want to use some of that money to get me a little wallet to keep in my purse with envelopes in it. So I don't have to use those little card wallets for my cash because I need to get better about actually being like an all cash spender. I very easily, because I'm lazy, just swipe my card and just think, well, I can take the cash out of the envelope and just put it in the bank. But that is a lot more extra work. It makes me swipe my card a lot more because I don't really think about how much I've spent total and it's just not sustainable. So I haven't been able to stay on budget a lot because of that, honestly. So I need to have a way to use my cash envelopes better. And I think having a little wallet to have inside of my purse will do it. So now we are going to add up our totals and let me get my calculator. So let's see how much I have saved. 85 70, 15, 15, 60, 143, 35. So I have saved $423. That here. 
So that's not a lot in the grand scheme of things, but for just having basically started completely over budgeting at the beginning of this month, saving $423 is pretty awesome. So I'm super happy about that. I'm excited to see it just slowly climb every single week. And I think next week is when I'm gonna start doing Instacart because I'm waiting for my uh, card to arrive so I can get more orders. So hopefully I can have a little bit of a side hustle income to add to this so I can stuff even more. So thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe below if you didn't, it really helps. I really appreciate it. And if you like these videos, give it a like and leave me a comment down below. What's a video that, a budgeting video that you really like to see that not a lot of people post. I'm trying to think of some new ideas for videos. So let me know below and I hope you'll have a great day and I will see you back here next week.